All right, welcome to level four and let's get right into some more advanced things. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is an effect called miniaturization. Okay, we used to call it tilt shift and in fact, that's probably where you're gonna find most examples are listed under tilt shift, okay? And that is when we take the real world and we make it look like they're toys, like they're miniaturized. Let me explain what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me grab some toys, put them on my dining room table here, and let me go and just take some photos of it with my iPad. And what you'll notice is when you take photos, first of all, you are above the subject. So if my glasses are what you wanna take a photo of, you are looking down at them. You are not at their eye level, okay? You are not taking photos this way. You've gotta act like you're a super giant. You've gotta be above them as if they're toys. For example, these toys, okay? So you make sure that you're above them and you will notice that the, you know, the foreground, what's in closer to the camera and the background, what's behind the toys are out of focus slightly. They have just one little narrow area of what toy is in focus, okay? So that is how the miniaturization normally looks. So if we're gonna fake that, let's take a look at my iPad here. And, and it, honestly, some people, they get carried away with this and it just doesn't work. They try to do it at eye level, doesn't work. The illusion is lost. There is ways to do it right, ways to do it wrong. So I've just done a simple image search here in Google for tilt shift, and let's go through some of these. Okay, this one's looking really good. This is, it's got, obviously they're up above the street, and these do look like little toy cars. Okay, so that's, that's a good example here. Uh, let's take a look at another one here. Again, another great example. They are above, and I'm talking, usually it's about, you know, 30 degrees. You've got to be above, if you're right above it, straight looking down, the effect is lost. You've got to be kind of just in an angle, kind of as if you were Godzilla or a giant in a city. Okay, so those effects work great. Um, here's one at eye level, and uh, it's a tilt shift, but it it's just doesn't work at all. So see, that's, someone claims it is, but it's just not. This one is way too high up. So, you know, you're, you're flying over a city, and they've kind of, you know, blurred the edges here but the effect is lost. I can't even believe these are showing up in Google as, as a tilt shift because they're just so bad. Now this one is, is kind of at an angle and even though they're high up, you kind of do get that effect. Now they've done a special thing here where they've, they've pulled these images or these buildings out to kind of add an effect to it. So that's not really good. Let's take a look at this street scene here. No, not, not good on that one because we have so much going on. Uh, we're kind of lost the effect there. So let's look at a couple more here so you really understand. Okay, this, this car show. Okay, now this one looks like it's little toy cars. Like someone has gone and put these little people out there and that is a real car show with real sized people and they've just added the tilt shift to it. Uh, let's go here. Oh, this beach one, this one's great too. So again, it looks like uh, someone's made a little model with a little beach scene and we've just kind of come in with our cameras and we've taken a photograph of it and that looks, that looks really good. Um, this one, yeah, not so much. Uh, take a look at this one here with this church. So, okay, so how to do a tilt shift. This is what you've got to do. You've got to go find some place that's high above. So I went to my mall and I've got a little area there because when I looked at my house here, I do have a balcony, but I'm only on the first floor. So, or, um, yeah, United States, I think you'd call that, yeah, the first floor. No, I'm on the second floor, United States. Here, it's called the first floor. I mean, I'm not on the ground level. I'm one level up from the ground level. And it's just not enough of an angle. I've tried to take pictures of some boats and things like that. And when I tilt shifted them, it didn't, it didn't look good enough. Okay, so then I went to the mall, set up in the mall, and I was able to get higher up that 30 degree angle and shoot down. And sure enough, uh, I got the effect. Okay, so, so that's the first step you need to do is you need to go find a situation where you can get above the crowd above something and to be able to be able to shoot that 30 degrees down on something okay then next let's go ahead and get right into our uh, ipad here and open up the pixelmator from before we did that in level three and if we go into pixelmator i've been playing around with it so you're going to see some of the photos i've been already working on and there it is right there so um, let me go into my images and i'll show you right from the beginning so i'm going to open up a new image here okay go to my photos and um Let's go to here I was in the mall and here's just some people walking and let me just try to miniaturize them to make it look like they're little toys uh, walking around in a little mall set that we've made. Okay, so here's just a normal photo, people walking around in the mall. You can see I am up above them. 
on that about that 30 degree plane. So I'm just going to go here to my paintbrush. I'm going to go to add effect. I'm going to go here right here to miniaturize. Okay. And let me just take the blur down. See, I can increase the blur. That's good. I can, I can change the, the size of what's in focus and the angle of it. I think I'm just going to go with just that like that. Hit apply. Okay. So you can see now that, um, you know, I don't like that one there. Let me just go with this and miniaturize it again. I want to kind of have this, I want this guy to be in focus too. So let me just bring that over. You just got to kind of, because if it was a toy, these two would kind of be in focus because we're looking down. These two would be kind of slightly blurry. So that's a better effect. Uh, you've really got to think like a photographer taking a picture of some toys. So you've got to really imagine what it is. And now that, that looks great. Let me just click on done. And you can see we've miniaturized that. That looks like some little uh, stick figures, some little characters that we have set up in, in a little set there. And that's how to do miniaturization. So that's the first effect I wanted to talk to you about is miniaturization. So uh, to earn this badge, you're gonna of course have to miniaturize something. So uh, with your parents' permission and their help, uh, get some place that you can get just a little bit up from them. A lot of schools have a second floor to them, you know, that you can shoot down into a cafeteria or something, but try uh, to get the miniaturization effect.